mic test. Hey, it's me, Jami. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I hope you for today's video we're going to be talking about something that i completely love no it's not notion no it's not one direction we're going to be talking about coffee specifically how i make my daily cup of coffee so if you follow me on instagram which you should by the way at jammy mndz you would notice that i always have a cup of coffee on my hands whether i'm working studying or just desperately trying to wake myself up at like 4 a.m. Also, a lot of my friends have been asking me, Jami, how do you make your coffee? It looks so good. So, okay guys, ito na talaga, ito na. So for this video, I'm going to teach you how I make hot and iced coffee using two different methods. The first method, we're going to make hot coffee using a drip coffee machine. And for the second method, we're going to make iced coffee using a French press. Also, for the items that I bought online, I'll leave the links in the description box if ever you want to purchase them as well. I'm gonna leave timestamps in the progress bar of this video so you can just skip ahead to which method you want to learn first. And without further ado, let's make some coffee! So for this method, we'll be using the following. A drip coffee machine, of course. I didn't know how to put the coffee machine in the frame, I'm sorry. A measuring cup. A spoon, a scooper, this is the grams indicated on the scooper, some coffee, sugar, I use brown sugar, milk, I use fresh milk, cinnamon, a handheld frother, and of course, your favorite mug. So first, I put 8 ounces of water in the coffee machine, 8 ounces because of the size of the mug that I'll be using. Then you can go ahead and add your coffee. I like to add 2 scoops of coffee for this one. To make sure all of the coffee will get hit by the water, I like to nudge them all a bit to the center, sort of creating a tiny pyramid in the middle. Yes, just like that. Now you can turn it on and just blissfully wait and smell the aroma of coffee in your kitchen. When it's done, you can grab your mug and add 2 teaspoons of brown sugar. Next, just pour your coffee. Give it a little stir for the sugar to dissolve. Next, get some hot milk. I will only microwave my milk for about 15 seconds. Here, I have 3 ounces of hot milk and whew, this is my favorite part. So, I'll be using this handheld frother that I bought online and I keep it on until I see this smooth texture on the milk already. However, if you don't have a frother at home, but you do have a French press, well, it's your lucky day. Because you can also use this bad boy to froth milk also. We love versatility. All you need to do is add some milk. I didn't add milk anymore. I'm sorry. And aggressively pump up and down until you get that same texture that you saw earlier. So going back to our coffee. You can now pour your milk and I like to block the froth part with a spoon first so that I can pour the non-froth milk and stir it. And after stirring, you can add your froth milk that looks like a cloud. Ooh, it's so pretty. For the last touch, I like to add some cinnamon tooth just for a little razzle dazzle and you know, just to add a little bit more taste to it. And that's it. Voila! You now have a pretty cup of coffee. And now on to the next method. So for this method, we will be using the following. A French press, of course. I just bought this online as well. A timer. A spoon. A scooper. And then this is the measurement for the scooper that I have. Some coffee. Sugar, I use brown sugar, milk, and your favorite mug or tumbler for iced coffee. 
So for French press, I add three scoops of coffee this time since I'll be adding a lot more water this time, which also includes the ice. At first, I only fill it halfway, but make sure that you're covering all the coffee with the water when you start pouring. I leave it like that for a minute. I just leave it and let it sit, let the coffee cook. And after a minute, I mix it with my spoon and I add a bit more water. For this one, I only fill it up to 3 fourths full since I'm only making a cup of coffee for myself. And after pouring, you can cover it and just slightly plunge it but not all the way. Not yet because I keep it like that for 5 minutes which is quite long i know so during this time i usually prepare my breakfast or my merienda and then when the timer is finally up after five minutes you can now proceed with the most satisfying part in my opinion and i'm sorry to say this but i also leave it for another five minutes mostly because i want to make sure that the bits you see those tiny coffee bits are really at the bottom of the french press while waiting for your timer you can prepare your mug i add the brown sugar first in the mug once the timer ends you can now pour that beautiful coffee in your cup and give it a little stir to dissolve the sugar next add ice and add as much as you want man this is iced coffee and finally i add three ounces of milk to finish it off And that's it. Just stir it a bit and now you have a cold cup of coffee. Perfect for the weather right now. Perfect for the incoming summer season. If it's hot in your country right now. And that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comment section which method you like the most. And if you have any recipe recommendations for me to try, let me know as well. Bye! So cute! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my god, that's so cute. And if you're wondering why I'm holding this, it's actually my mic. <laughs>